Charlotte leaders are deciding how your tax dollars are spent as they work on the city budget. Tonight, Katz was in the spotlight. As our Julia Kaufman reports, it comes as the transportation agency is working through a handful of problems like overdue maintenance and a staffing shortage. New leadership at Katz promising better spending habits than the agency had in its past. It's been said time and time again, money is not an issue at Katz. They just need to rework how it's spent. Katz does not have a funding issue. What that, we have is issue is really about um, everything else but funding. City Council members working with Katz on its upcoming budget while also working through issues piling up from past years like ignored upkeep of the light rail. What concerns me is that we had specific budget uh, allocated for maintenance, for safety and security. And, you know, each year, six to eight million dollars were just not used. Interim CEO Brent Cagle explains money that was supposed to be spent on maintenance instead rolled over each year. Now the agency must overhaul its entire Blue Line fleet an estimated cost of $30 million. Cagle says moving forward, routine maintenance and long-term saving for overhauls will be priority. Fundamentally, our budget is in support of excellent service and providing the service that the community deserves. Katz's projected budget for fiscal year 2024 is roughly $240 million. More than half of it comes from a half-cent sales tax. Another priority for that money, Cagle says, is safety and security. That includes hiring more armed and unarmed security staff, plus teaching employees how to handle stressful situations. We do provide de-escalation training to our operators, but we need to provide more. As Katz looks to spend more on improvements, it assures riders will not be spending more. It keeps passenger fare prices the same in the proposed budget. Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte. And Julia, thanks for that report. The city manager will present the entire proposed city budget on May 1st. A public hearing follows on May 8th.